Hi, this is Phil from Rich Commerce. In this tutorial, I will show you how to further customize your returns portal, uh, which is pretty simple and uh, looks pretty great uh, in your brand style. At this point, I guess that you have watched the first tutorial on how to launch your portal and now you want to adapt it to your brand. And that's where the brand settings really kick in. Um, so navigate to your brand settings tab uh, if you're in the Rich Returns dashboard. And let's just take a look at how our sample testing returns portal looks. So what we see here is that we have a background image. Um, we have a custom button color that matches the brand. We have a logo and we have a custom contact emails over there. We have a header that says returned uh, to the rich commerce store. All this can be customized very easily. So let's take a look at it. If we go back, uh, first thing is your brand name. We have the store URL, which is like your real URL that the customer should see. Then you have the Shopify URL, which is automatically set. It, it's always something point myshopify.com. Identifier is not important for you. The contact email is the one that if a customer has like a very unique problem with their return, um, they will reach you under this email address. So it's important that this email address is accurate and going through your support. So for most customers, it will be something like support at um, myfashionbrand.com, for example. Um, just make sure this is correct. Um, next option is to disable the return to store header. This is what I showed you over here, this header on front. So I think it's pretty neat to have this header, but if for any reason you want to disable it, you can just go here, click disable, click save at the bottom, and then you're done. Next one is logo. Um, so logo is this one over here. Um, just click, um, so I've already uploaded, but for essentially for you, you can just click upload and select the file. Um, limitations for the file are here. Um, those limitations are in place so that the returns portal loads super fast for your customer, right? So if you upload like a huge logo, um, that will slow down the process. So we set a limit on it also for the background to really provide a great experience for the customer, right? So upload your logo. Um, you will get a check mark like this when it's correctly uploaded. Then either choose a background image, with, which I think is a pretty cool way to highlight your brand. So choose something which is either like a product or like a scenery that includes your product um, and then have that at the back, at the, as the background. Uh, for example, over here you see just let's suppose this is a sports brand and this is one like the leggings is one of your products. Um, it really highlights that product and there is directly a brand association from the customer to your brand, which is pretty cool. So. I suggest using a background image, uh, which makes this look much nicer. If you don't want to have a background image, you can choose a background color, right? So either choose one of these colors, just click on it and it will change the color, or you can use a what is called a hex code, uh, which essentially defines the color like to a like the the most detailed as possible. So um, if you don't know what a hex code is, it's written H. E X. Just Google it um, and you can usually find um, your exact color, the hex code for your exact brand color and just insert that here without the pound sign, just the six digits that you have here. Next one is the button color. Button color is essentially this color right here. So it's the background. Here is the blue and you can see it always, if you if you click on like say a color or you enter a color code here, it previews that color here, right? Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, then when you change the button color, you also wanna probably change the button text color. So just change the text color here, same as for that. And you can change the text color of the, um, the little footer here that says, need help with the return, then contact us under this email address, yeah. So that's for like visually adapting our returns portal to your brand. So you can really like shine um, with your great brand. And that's it for this tutorial. See you soon.